I want a bigger vision of what a good life is. And I think that Jesus has given that to us as he describes the fruit that he will make in our lives. Mm. And um, so it's fruitfulness. And I, I learned that just kind of those, those two things, you know, is it, is it, is it does successful really capture a human life as God sees it? And uh, success is so often used in terms of numbers, metrics, how you count the value of a human life. And I think this beautiful word fruitfulness, you know, being in the vine and uh, just give, being given the life that God, God's the one who can make fruit and we get to participate, mm -hmm. but we can't measure it. That's not our job to do is to measure it or to see the eternal, to see even, uh, you know, to try and say, well, that was a fruitful thing we did today. It's, it's not, it's not our work. And so it, it freezes up it frees us up to be people who can do the things that God brings into our life to do, to be with the people he, he gives us to be with, to use our gifts and to say, Lord, these are the things you've given, you know, help us to follow you in them, to kind of have this open palm life, like two hands out to God. We're pilgrims, we're followers, we're following you lead us and guide us good shepherd and then i think there's such a rest and a trust and a beauty in that that uh yeah that's and and then there's a particular scripture that i came to in my older life that was uh it's uh psalm 92 a little portion they will still bear fruit in old age they will stay fresh and green and that to me was, again, a promise that it's always God who's renewing us, who's making us able, who's leading us on, and uh, the fruitfulness is his. And we get the joy and the delight of participating. Yeah. Mm -hmm.